Good morning, people. Oh, look, my dog is up there visiting the neighbor dog. Which the neighbor's cool with, because their dog gets lonely, so. We got a couple old farm dogs up here running around the property. Isn't that cute? Anyway, a couple folks have asked how the for an update on the John Deere 140 and the John Deere 400. Well, just got done topping off the fuel on the four, the 140 here. She's still chushing super strong, man. I'm going to go uh, clear out some of this slushy snow that we got just around the back barnyard over there. The barnyard driveway. But, and longtime viewers of the channel will know that uh, I've had the 140H3 here for much longer than the 400. So it's got good news. I mean, this thing's running strong, kicks ass. We got the chains on it. I got the ballast box reinstalled with the uh, heavy duty items, a couple railroad pieces in there and a giant drilling bit. But bad news about the 400. Yes, the 400 that I uh, spent, I think $2,300 if I can remember right. I bought that. I bought it with a spare front hydraulic blade. So now I've got two 54 inch hyd uh, hydraulic snow blades. So I've got a spare. Anyway, bought that thing with a little bit of uh, a couple extra parts. Ran it through the summer and uh, got the lawn mowed a lot. I was pretty stoked about that 60 inch mower deck. Uh, side note, I did score this past summer, I did score a nice 54 inch mower deck for the 140 in primo condition. Pretty sure it's going to fit. I've, it came with a bracket. I think I paid 100, 150 bucks for it. Uh, and it's in great shape. So the 140 is probably going to have to go on to lawn mowing duties once all this snow melts. Anyway, back to the 400. Sadly, sad to tell you. Oh, look, here's the sheep. It is uh, still midwinter, and you can hear the rain. Rain. You can hear the snow melting off of the barn. It was 47 degrees when I came over the mountain pass here in February 15th, I think. That's not right. February 6th. <laughs> anyway, my beloved 400. Here she sits. Oh, hi, Mary. You want to go outside and play with them other dogs? Yes, you should. Sadly, the 400 sits right here. I had it in the little tractor shop over there. Uh, <clears throat> and I pulled the heads off of the engine. And uh, the last lawn mowing job that it did, sometime mid to early last fall, suddenly the engine <laughs> let out this crazy sound. Didn't sound right. I was managed. I managed to drive it back in here to the shop. Sorry, the barn. Had it stored for a while, and then I managed to drive it out into the shop. Turns out I was driving it on one piston. So I was going to make a video, like breaking it down, opening it up, investigating and all that fun stuff. But as things go around here, it's like <laughs> I set up to make a video, then I'm not getting shit done. And so I was hoping to share that with you guys. But instead, what I've got here is a uh, John Deere 400 that one side of the pistons the right hand side piston, it's got two pistons, right? The right hand side piston is not moving up and down. No chuchin. Left hand side piston moves up and down when you, you know, turn the crank. So, that's bad news. That means, <laughs> what you doing kid? I'm gonna let you out with them other dogs, I guess. That means that <clears throat> either the connecting rod for the piston took a dump or or the crankshaft itself has had a problem. Either way, the engine's gotta come out on that thing. Kinda of breaks my heart. $2,300, like I said. At least I got a, fu a full solid season out of it. But that's in addition to the uh, six, maybe $700 I spent on that U-Haul rental. And my whole, all my time coming back from Walla Walla, Washington. So go back and check out that video if you're interested in the 400. So being that I have a, uh, Wow, look at the, look at the, it is warm as hell out here, dude. Look at this. <laughs> and I'm just walking through three inches of slush. 
So it's a perfect job for the John Deere 140 and the Snowblade just to move this slush around. I probably ought to just let it melt. Gosh, it's so easy to get sidetracked here. As I was saying, I'm probably over $3,000 or more into that John Deere 400. So I'm quite incentivized to get that thing working again. And I love it. It's got a lot of power, but it isn't gonna do us any good here at the farm this winter. Now these two dogs seem to yeah, get along pretty well, but Mary, come here. But at the same time, yeah, they kind of fight a little bit. <laughs> if Mary, the sheepdog, Mary had a little lamb, a little lamb of sheep. If she kind of senses he's in her territory, she gets pretty unglued about it. It's, 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 this is, this is just disrespectful. It's February. What did I say? Fifth. Ridiculous. Look, the neighbor dog's up there. She wants some friends to go play with her. So I'll try to round up these dogs and get her up there. She shouldn't be running out down the gate here. Down the fence, out to the street. Barry! Oh, great. Hopefully she didn't run out into the street. She just disappeared. So that was an update on the John Deere 400. I've got this Toyota mini truck over here, a little farm truck that I am in the process of getting the engine, which I rebuilt, installed. And... I, I just can't take time away from that to focus on dismantling this little baby tractor engine. So once that mini truck's running, hopefully we can get that engine removed and investigate some stuff. I've never had any of my John Deere 140, John Deere 400 tractors apart. So it's a bit of a, she must have ran around the barn. Come on, get away from the road. Tripod. Ah. Uh, gonna be a bit of an adventure but that's the cool thing i mean it's like if you're gonna be a guy that has these old vintage tractors then you're <coughs> probably gonna be a guy who's tearing engines apart and restoring this stuff so anyway hopefully that's a satisfactory update on the john deere 400 and the 140 there's not a whole lot of snow really to move here so it's not gonna be that much snow removal footage but i don't think winter's really fully over yet and so i'm sure temps will drop again and we'll get some more fun snow removal but oh look look who it is come on kid anytime you talk to her yeah she's like i need to go back to the barn to protect the sheep it's good good uh livestock guardian dog she is half akbosh and half not burmese python she's not she's not part snake what's that other <laughs> what's that other dog Type the white one, I forget. Anyway, she should be up here. They should all be up here, the sheep and all that. So hopefully by next winter, we'll have side siding on this. Their shelter moved up midway up the property up there. You know, the property goes back two more acres back there behind. This is just kind of the, the front one acre here with the yard and all that and the barns. There you go, there's an update. First day off work for me. So I got seven days off, get shit whipped into shape around here. And uh, looking forward to it. We'll see you on the next video. Take care. I, I mean, I just don't even know if it's worth the hassle of pushing this snow around. But maybe. I'll go up there and see your friends. Go up there and see your friends. Look. Go. Go play with them. Go on. Get. Yeah. Go up there, look. Go up there. Go play with them other kids. Go on. It's okay. All right, the people asked for it. Here's a cold start on the 140. Choke full up. And throttle about one third up. My particular stick, I have to push over a little bit to get the uh, micro switch to engage. And here we go. Choke out a little bit. There we go. Choke down. Oh, she just purrs right along. This little one banger Kohler 14 something or other. Give her a minute here to get warmed up.
us over here. Check out what happened to the chains on that tire that Les Schwab installed. I don't know if it's a smaller tire. 